Who y'all talking to, man? I got a story oh. to tell. So originally this video was gonna be about this lady right here. She is a model I found. Don't ask me how I found her, I don't remember. I think I was looking for models of girls riding motorcycles for the miniatures that I make and I came across the model for this character. When I found the model and the artwork for the model and I'll share the artist down here, I don't remember her name off the top of my head. At first this video was just going to be about this model and showing you her and telling you I was going to make a, a vehicle for her to ride on. And that was gonna be it, but then I thought maybe you might find the story interesting of where this model comes from and what is the art of Stransky. I started looking and the model was done by I'll add it down here, Industria Mechanica, something like that. Well, it turns out their page doesn't even exist anymore. And I couldn't order the model if I wanted to. But search enough and you will find that unfortunately it takes you to, and I say unfortunate because you want the artist to get the respect. Put some respect on my name. And the money that they deserve for their artwork. But in this case, it didn't work, work out that way because I ended up getting a link to AliExpress where I ordered this chick. She doesn't have a name for about six bucks. I think it's up to about $10 now for some reason, which is fortunate for me because I'm going to use her in my next model. The long story short is I started looking into the artwork behind this model and I found the art of Lorenzo Etherington and the series called The Art of Stransky. And I'm like, well, what the hell is Stransky? I've never seen this. It looks familiar right doesn't it look like something you saw growing up and i just thought it looked so cool the art looked retro and cool and hip and i was like i gotta see this where is this coming from so i kind of fell down this rabbit hole of the etherington brothers and the art of stransky don't get the wrong idea i'm not sitting here acting like i discovered the etherington brothers they apparently are very well established they have huge social media presence. Uh, I will share all the links in the comments below. They have a very successful series of books teaching you how to draw. I think they're called How to Think When You Draw or something like that. They are uh, very successful and it's well deserved. The real interesting part about the story is there is no background to the art of Stransky. So basically the art of Stransky, let me let him explain it. Here's a clip from an interview done at a comic art festival in the UK where the Etherington brothers are from. This is Lorenzo Etherington being interviewed by Blast Process. Check out the video, link is in the comments. He explains it much better than I ever could. It's basically a series of pieces of artwork, promotional posters, little vignettes, um, old ephemera and objects around a fictional lost movie from, who knows, late 40s probably. Um, and what I do is I just, there's certain characters which reoccur and environments and bits, but mostly it's a series of non-chronological vignettes and you try to read it's totally up to the reader to figure out what they think it's about i know what it's about but you know well i'm not telling so you know and, and that's the problem because i went crazy looking for the animated series for the animation for the comics i wanted to see more of this so there's this world here that's been built up in lorenzo etherington's head that he refuses to share with us you're you fucking, fucking you are fucking you fucking fucking you bloody you bloody you bloody you bloody Bastard, you, bastard, you. It kind of sucks because I think we want it. Well, I don't know how many people want it. I want it. I think it's cool. Shut up and take my money. I think the comics look great. I think the artwork looks amazing. Cupcakes look amazing. It would be an incredible animated film if that was the case. And I just think it looks really cool. So that is how I came across this, this model of this chick here. There is no Stransky. There is no comic. There is no movie. There is just the concept for said movie. It took a lot of internet digging to find it, but uh, I, think, I think it's great. As a matter of fact, you can't even find the books anymore. I saw a couple of listings for the books on eBay, uh, you know, 150, $180, you can't even find the book anymore. So I'm kind of late to this party, but I discovered it not too long ago and I thought it was awesome. I thought you would uh, get a kick out of it. So that's the story, the art of Stransky, the non-existent movie and animation. And that's the story of this model where I found her. The next video I show you, I will be working on a vehicle for her. If you've got any ideas, share in the comments, any inspirations you'd like me to see, you know, let me know what you think. And please do not hesitate to like, subscribe, do all the internet-y things. And uh, I hope uh, to see you guys soon. Take care.